it's uh, Iran talk here again and uh, you know I thought uh, I was done with Jason and I'm sorry you know you're probably wondering why uh, I released a lot of uh, these uh, videos in such a small uh, span of time well I think uh, it's best if we deal with Jason right now and uh, do not uh, allow him uh, to continue continue rather continue spewing his bullshit any further so again, I thought I was done with him, but uh, just recently he released a video on uh, with uh, Jeffrey Mishlov, uh, an interview with him uh, for his channel titled uh, New Thinking Aloud. And uh, you know now Mishlov, I have no issue with him. I've never even uh, watched his videos in detail, but I decided to watch this one because it revolved around an interesting topic, which was... Uh, the uh, video was uh, discussing the greys uh, who as uh, if uh, I don't know if you uh, know but these are alien beings and uh, you know they're obviously not real most of this uh, is just a result of a delusional mindset of an individual well uh, Jason actually was talking about these uh, individuals as if they were real beings and uh, you know now I'm not one to jump on Jason's case quickly you know I've uh, given him a lot of chances I've left him alone for a while but these past few days uh, he's been very active and what really upset me was the fact uh, that he went out and called me out he said I'm a fraud I'm a liar well uh, I asked him you know I, I challenged him rather if I'm such a fraud if I'm a liar as he claims why doesn't he just debate me it's not hard to debate anyone who's a fraud or a liar because you can easily expose their frauds uh, the, them, their lies rather and uh, what ended up happening was uh, actually Jason deactivated his Facebook and he's no longer active there and uh, he's pretty much uh, avoiding the situation now because he knows that in a direct debate he can never uh, uh, out debate me and uh, he would easily be exposed as the fraud and the delusional individual he is but this most recent in the interview of his uh, proves uh, the extent of uh, his delusion so I'll play the clip right now well by evoking these um, archetypal images of the goddesses and 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 so on and Whitley uh, I'm not Whitley Strieber but uh, Frederick Meyer's work on the imaginal you're suggesting a whole other interpretation consistent with Jacques Vallée's view of uh, aliens and UFOs, and that is that to understand them fully, we need to look into the folklore and mythological literature of humanity, because these beings have been with us in many different forms for a very long time. Well, I discussed this subject with uh, Jacques Vallée one night at his home in San Francisco, and um, you know, Jacques uh, made a very keen observation that it makes no sense for these beings to be collecting genetic material from us for the sake of carrying out some kind of uh, hybridization or um, genetic engineering project. It would be sufficient for them to land uh, at a facility where they had access to uh, blood banks and databases of, of you know, um, sperm banks or something something like that where they could collect a large amount of human genetic material of a great variety to use in whatever experiments that uh, they're engaged in. So it seems to me that all of this imagery um, in the close encounter phenomenon, these experiences that people have of undergoing bizarre experiments often with a kind of erotic quality to them are probably symbolic in nature and that there is some kind of creation at work but it's a creation that involves the metamorphosis of humanity including on the psychical level or perhaps especially on the psychical level and uh, in my conversation with Jacques Vallée we were discussing an idea that is at the core of his book Passport to Magonia namely that the beings in the close encounter phenomenon or at least some subset of them and I think particularly the greys are addressing us from out of the human future they are not visitors from another planet mm -hmm. although presumably in the future humanity will have colonized many other planets so calling them extraterrestrials is not necessarily false mm -hmm. but we miss the point which is that they are emissaries from the human future mm -hmm. and if you pay attention you know the devil's in the details here to if you pay attention to the details of these experiences that are recounted by people who have engaged with the greys uh, it seems that that is a failed human future and they're they're here to remedy some catastrophe mm -hmm. 
So what I suggest in novel folklore uh, is that these beings are attempting to alter the developmental trajectory of humanity. They are attempting to affect a metamorphosis in humanity while it is still in a larval state mm -hmm. before it becomes uh, the imago, mm -hmm. proverbially. And so I think, the, again, this insect imagery that we see uh, associated with the greys and these close encounter experiences yeah. has something to do with the caterpillar turning into the butterfly and what's going on is uh, the perfected form of the insect as it were is trying to affect our development in the chrysalis mm -hmm. so that we wind up becoming something other and I would say something more uh, something uh, with more potential uh, something that has a greater capacity capacity for life and creation than they wound up becoming. Mm -hmm. There you have it folks. Uh, those are the words of Jason Riza Georgiani. This is the same man who wants to lead Iran and Iran Shah. This is the same man who claims to have done so much for Zarathustra and Iranians on, on multiple, uh, when actually, when in actuality on multiple occasions he has insulted Iranians. He has given away the heritage of Iranians to Europeans and on top of that on uh, he has uh, non for for a very long time and again I'm sorry I'm not using a script uh, but anyways for a very long time he has been constantly flip flopping and switching allegiances and claiming that he's been in contact with the American government with the Trump administration with the uh, the Israeli government and uh, you know uh, at at the beginning I thought he may have been just a con artist but this most recent interview with uh, Jeffrey Mishlov proves that he is not a con artist. No, he is not a con artist. He is a highly deluded individual. A man who starts talking about aliens as if they're real beings and claims that, uh, you know, the individuals who are in contact with these beings are uh, talking to the humans from uh, the future is clearly deluded. You know, there's no evidence for this. There's again no scientific evidence for this. There's no genetic evidence for this. Although I don't even know why there would be genetic evidence for the existence of aliens. But anyways, all of this clearly pro proves the uh, deluded mindset of uh, Jason Reza Georgiani. And, uh, you know, I thought uh, that it would be best to just move on and leave the guy alone. You know, he's... Uh, He's not really been influential and uh, he's been uh, under the rock for a very long time but what he did a few days was not acceptable. You know, he just went out and insulted me, called me a fraud. Well, I'll expose him. I'll expose the fraud and I'll prove that he's actually the one who's deluded and not me. Now, uh, my question to Iranians is, do you really want this man to lead Iran? I mean, look at him. He's clearly speaking from the mind of a lunatic. He belongs in an insane asylum. Yes, that's right. This man belongs in an insane asylum. Anyone in this day and age who speaks of aliens as if they're real beings and attempts to justify their existence in a 30 minute long interview is highly deluded. And also, I uh, remember reading somewhere where Jason said that he himself has been in contact with aliens. Now, I don't know the source, but I think it was uh, one of his books. And he claimed how he's been in contact with aliens. And this is ridiculous. This shows the extent to which this man is deluded. He is highly deluded. He is not a scholar. He is not at all an academic. Even though he has a PhD, he does not behave like a scholar or an academic. And this is just something to keep in mind for uh, those of you who think I'm lying, I'm a fraud, I'm a trickster, I'm a deceiver, I'm uh, an emotional manipulator. Well, uh, the truth is that all of these qualities are what Jason is. And even though he's accused me of these on multiple occasions, he's actually the one who is uh, the manipulator and the liar and the deceiver. Again, I'm not an individual to bring up old uh, grievances. I think uh, uh, releasing three videos uh, in the past three days is enough. I think, uh, you know, uh, for uh, you know, for my, you know, I've not even been active, but releasing those videos, I, I thought it was enough, and I thought that uh, you know now it's time to leave Jason alone. But today he just goes and he releases this nonsensical video where. This is just ridiculous. I have no more comments on this and you can watch the entire video for yourself. It's in the description, but clearly this man is living in some sort of fantasy world. How can such a man, a man who's not mentally stable, a man who's highly 
psychotic, a man who's highly paranoid, and a man who's highly delusional again. How can this man lead Iran? I, I don't get it, and uh, I don't think uh, many Iranians will get it either. And I call uh, Dr. Najad, Shaheen Najad, to expel this man from his organization because he is clearly... Uh, the bane of the Iranian renaissance and on top of that uh, he is the reason why uh, Mr. Hazali actually criticized uh, the organization. Georgiani is a huge liability for uh, the Iranian renaissance rather and uh, as long as he remains in the movement the movement will not grow but once he is expelled from the movement I can guarantee that the Iranian renaissance will have a greater outreach. Overall, I think the Iranian Renaissance is a decent movement. Obviously, I'm not one to comment on Iranian nationalism, but at the same time, I think that uh, Mr. Georgiani is really a disgraceful individual. Uh, even uh, Dr. Najad, you know, he sold Dr. Najad out on the alt-right uh, website where he posted his video and the the individuals on in the comment section the white nationalists continuously insulted dr najad you know it's very unfortunate but this is what georgiani has caused uh, for the iranian renaissance and even uh, uh, though he was associated with the alt-right it was actually dr najad who convinced him to leave the alt-right and that's after that he was called out by uh, richard uh, spencer and uh, that is it uh, for this video. Thanks again. I just thought that, uh, you know, I'd uh, continue exposing Jason and his lies because he claims I'm the liar, whereas he is the real liar.